Yo bros, it's your old uncle Yo here back with a brand new video in this Vice Cycle series. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the critical importance accountability plays in your ability to smash that vice cycle in your life for good. So whether you struggle with drinking, drugs, or jerking off, this video is gonna show you how to hold yourself accountable and be a part of a like-minded group of men that've got your back. So when it comes to accountability, the very first thing we gotta do is be accountable to honesty. And so I have a friend once who said to me that there are three lives that each man lives. He lives his public life, his private life, and his secret life. And so accountability is about living in the light or shining a light on that secret life. Those things that you hold on in and grow and fester because they never reach the light of day. My daughter fell and scraped her knee a couple days ago. And as a result, she had a big wound and she wrapped it up. And she kept walking around with it all wrapped up for days and days. And I asked her to like open it up so I could see what's going on there. And it started to fester. It had a lot of like infection in it. It was all like moist and nasty. And I said, babe, that's not gonna heal until it reaches the fresh air, lightness of day. And so it's the same thing with a lot of our vices. They're like wounds on our soul. And as long as they stay there, it's like wrapping it up and then it starts to fester and grow mold. So what we wanna do is live in the light. Being responsible is about being honest with yourself and honest with others about where you slipped up, tripped and fell. There's no stories that are required. There's no excuses that are required. And you definitely don't wanna be blaming other people. Taking full responsibility is mature and masculine. So when you man up and take responsibility for your slipping, tripping, and falling, you can also take responsibility for growing in virtue in each one of these areas and see where you failed so that you can pick yourself back up and keep going. By being completely objective, by reviewing past failures during the state of inflation, you can see triggers when they're on their way and avoid those stumbling blocks. Being responsible during the deflation phase of the vice cycle model means redirecting your thoughts when they start go to, going towards making excuses or justifying or creating copes about why it's okay to smoke dope, why it's okay to go and strokey stroke or binge on a bottle like a big baby. Being responsible during the phase of compulsion when you have let go of the steering wheel and it's like that demon or that alter ego has grabbed on and is steering you towards that vice and it almost seems like you have zero control by reaching out. That's the time when you wanna ask a friend who's there to hold you accountable to say a prayer for you and to maybe give you some encouraging words to stay strong on your journey of destroying this damn vice. And the most responsible thing to do when you've actually fallen and you start to have revulsion and you beat yourself up is to resist repetition. Falling is one thing, not getting up is true failure. So if you resist repetition by recognizing when you're in revulsion, you have a better chance of escaping this cycle altogether. The second R of mature masculinity and living in light is that it's got to be relational. Look, we're all on the same journey. The minute you start thinking that your situation is different or no one will understand, you're actually falling into a form of pride that says that my problems are so big or I am so able that I don't need anybody's help. Also, if you're part of an accountability group, recognize that you're in this together. Aristotle said that no virtue is built in a vacuum. That means we need each other in order to grow stronger. And as the Bible says, as iron sharpens iron, one man sharpens another. The third R of mature masculinity and living in the light so that you can be held accountable for destroying that vice is that it's got to be reciprocal. It can't be one-sided. This is a mutual sharing of wins and losses. In most accountability partnerships or groups, there tends to be one of two extremes. There are those guys who seem to dump all their problems on everybody else and are looking for someone to save them. And then on the other side, you have the guys who are saviors. They want everybody to dump their problems on them and they enjoy the role of caretaker in solving everybody else's problems. Now to avoid this, in my War and Vice program, we hold several accountability calls per week, one of which is confessions. And that's an opportunity where every man comes to the table and lets us know where you may have slipped and fell. It's not about guilt, it's not about shame, but it's about getting it off your chest. That way, everyone's honest about their losses. We also have a day where you can come and share your big wins. 
Not only that, every month we have an awards assembly where you can be awarded for your big wins and triumphs throughout the course of the past four weeks. Everyone's encouraged to share their wins and their losses. That way no one's a victim and no one's held responsible for other people's failings. We gotta keep it fair and reciprocal. The fourth R of mature masculinity and living in light so that you can destroy vice is it, it has to be regular. So that's why we have five accountability meetups per week. Connect consistently, not randomly. And for us, that means attend the daily gatherings and engage in the community. Whatever your accountability partnership, it shouldn't be like a booty call where you just call someone when you need something. It's gotta be regular, it's gotta be consistent, and it's gotta be fair. Constantly get in touch with each other, even when you're not falling. That way, that person's there and wants to support you when things are getting tough. So if you wanna make accountability work, consider those four R's and live in light. We also have two tips that are gonna support you in making this really stick. First is to remember that it's all about clear agreements and not consulting. Your accountability partner or accountability group is not there to save you or to walk you off the cliff. They're there to offer prayer and encouragement to stand firm. Remember, if somebody comes to you and they're looking for support, you can use a petition prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on my friend now in his time of need. It's as simple as that. Key to success number two is dependability, not dependency. Keep in mind, this is about you doing your part. Your struggle for freedom should never be anybody else's responsibility. That would be called dependency. So excessive communication and expectations need to be avoided. The mutual support we offer is characterized by depend on me, not dependency. So there you have it. Accountability plays a crucial role in your ability to overcome vice. By embracing the four R's of mature masculinity and following the tips I have in this video, you can build a strong support system and overcome the temptations that lead you into vice. And in the next video, we're gonna talk about the sacrament of reconciliation that's available to all traditional Christians as a powerful channel of God's grace to help you overcome habitual sin. Until then, be vigilant against vice and keep building that virtue. Done.